Hello, Serendipitous here, uh, in case you didn't already know. Um, I reached 7,000 Twitter followers. Uh, that's why this video is coming out. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> there was a time when I did not think that 5,000 was possible. And uh, yeah, here we are. So to commemorate this occasion, I have promised for weeks, maybe a couple months now, that I would roast the Brawlhalla legends, each of them, one by one, if I reach this milestone. So this is for all of you. Uh, just, a, just a couple little things before I get to it, um, just so we're all on the same page here. So um, first of all, I'm roasting the Brawlhalla legends that are like in the game, the legends in the game, not uh, not not the skins, not the crossovers, um, the legitimate like original characters in the game of Brawlhalla. Also, at the time of this recording, um, the latest character to be released is Reno, and so uh, just keep in mind that uh, I know that other legends will be released. Um, will I will I roast them at some other point? Maybe I don't know, but the point is, I will. Make fun of and roast the 53 Brahma legends that are currently out. Also, I will say, this is, I mean, I know roasting the legend is not the most original idea. Um, some people will and already have roasted the legend before in their own way. And this is definitely not me saying that you couldn't or shouldn't do it yourself. In fact, I think you should because my way of roasting the legends will be different from yours. I have more of a lore approach to it, but I still think that it'll be enjoyable for just about everybody, especially if you read the lore, by the way. Another reason to read the lore in the game. Uh, links to that in the description below. So, I think I've waffled long enough in the past couple of minutes. Let's get to it. Here we go. Bodvar Bearson, you come from a cold place, but not as cold as Wu Shang's reply when you welcomed him to Valhalla. Cassidy Miller, I know Nebraska thought you were as valuable as Billy the Kid, but come on, he caused so much more trouble than you did and died before his 25th birthday. Who's the real legend here? Orion, I don't know enough about you for a proper roast, I'm afraid, but I bet you're roasting in that bulky golden armor those dwarves made for you. Lord Vrax, Caspian is better at being you than you are. Nash, I know you made the first plan and all, but yeah, okay, Boomer, you are Neanderthal. Queen Nye, I know you're busy plotting your revenge and avoiding getting caught by a reaper and all that, but you still lost your whole kingdom. Just take the L, lady. Hattori, you do know that demon slaying swords exist, right? Not sure why you had to go to all that trouble to run away, travel across realms, get married to kill a demon. Besides, you kind of ditched your family like a coward earlier, so your sister's getting captured? All on you. Lord Sir Roland Somerset Montgomery, Duke of the Three Isles, Lord of... Oh, who gives a flying horse? You've got more titles than a try-hard code collector at a Brawlhalla esports stream. Simp. Scarlet Dashwood. I actually think you're pretty cool, but you got bested by a baron. Also, you created rocket lances, so now everyone hates you. Thatch. At one point, you had a face that only a mother could love. And now, since your visual update, you have a face that no one would love. Walk that off the plank. Ada. You did a lot of impressive things against the MBFC, but... You couldn't keep track of who your base player was? Come on! That's not even basic quantum calculus! Sentinel, Henry Coates. The fact that you're in a warrior's heaven just goes to show that all the work you put in to get those four PhDs probably didn't mean anything in the grand scheme of things. Nice haircut, though. Count Lucien Degas. You were rich during the French Revolution, which, if you know your history, was bad news. But hey, at least artists think you're hot. So you got that going for you, you old conniving fop. Teros, you say you hate 
adventurers. But you later join Sidra's crew for plunder and, uh, oh yeah, adventure! That's what we professionals call a bunch of bull. Bryn, people don't actually whisper behind your back because you're half Valkyrie. They just don't like the fact that it's your fault that Taros is in Valhalla. Asuri, Katastan, Myanmar, Punjab, your way out of that. Baraza, okay, Mad Max, the story goes that you have a diesel heart. But according to the Queen of the Last Folk, you have no heart at all. Ember, so apparently the Fangwild slipped into madness because you're not there anymore. Sounds to me like a bad case of helicopter parenting. Too bad you don't use spear. Azoth, dude, your whole entire story is a joke. Your backstory of repeated failures practically roasts itself. Koji, the first time I read your lore and found out what you did to Hattori's husband, for a second I thought you were Pecos Bill's horse. Look that up if you don't know Pecos Bill's horse's name. Olgrim Evaldison, hey grumpy dwarf. You improved Mjolnir's handle, but that doesn't change the fact that a bunch of dwarven upstarts got the job of making it in the first place instead of you. But hey, at least you make a good onion suit. Diana. Ironic. You can save whole countries from monsters, but not your own order. SMH my head. Jala. Your nickname is The Unbroken which seems a bit inaccurate to a lot of people, considering the fact that you use Axe. Kor. Kor the Unvanquished. But you fought against Thor on the side of the elves, right? The elves lost, so that Unvanquished title is a bit of a lie. But hey, cool hammer, bro. Wu Shang. You say you're a pacifist, but then you go around flinging flames like that one time the Fire Nation attacked. Coincidence? I think not. Val. You founded a modeling agency that controls neural research. Talk about a midlife crisis. Ragnir. You're trying to restore the Fangwild's heart when you have all those dwarven mountain hearts right there in your horde. I'm sure you could have figured out a solution by self, yourself by now instead of relying on Linkle over here. Joseph Cross. The way you handled your court cases and infernal deals, you could have made a good lawyer. Mirage Fatima Sabik. Your quote with Orion drives me up the freaking wall! What do you think this is? Casablanca? Nix. I know you're usually good at what you do, but if you can't find your Quetzalcoatl quarry in Valhalla, then I guess the job is nigh impossible for you. Octavius Mordex. Kinda sus, not gonna lie. Looking sharp, though. Yumiko. Your admittance into Valhalla is the equivalent of jumping into a stranger's car, drifting off to sleep, and hoping that nothing bad happens. I mean, nothing bad happened, but... It's not the best example to give as someone who's over 500 years old. Artemis, Mary Washington. Hey Mary, I I'm a reporter for the Valhalla Times, and I'd like to confirm a quote about Orion infecting Asgard. Okay, yeah, you did say that, thanks. Uh, Follow-up question, have you considered vaccinating? Caspian. Why on earth did you disguise yourself as a horse for the Kentucky Derby? Everyone knows it's so much better to be a puppy at the Puppy Bowl. Sidra, I'm not the kind of guy to ask a lady to make me a sandwich. But even if I were, I still wouldn't ask you because you'd just lose it in another drinking contest. Zul, not sure why you wanted to be in charge of Thursday specifically. If you had, we still wouldn't be calling it Zul's Day because it sounds too much like Lol's Day, lol. Kaya, you probably drink milk instead of meat at the Great Hall, but that's okay. It's okay. I probably would too, honestly. It's just too bad you aren't getting any cookies to go with that milk. Major Isaiah Marshall. You, time, you find time for slacklining? More like you find time for slacking now that you're in Valhalla. Jiro. Sega called. Uh, they want Sonic's rival back. Lin Fei. 
You're the person behind Sir Roland's lance and sig, Azoth's axe d sig, Cassidy's hammer d sig, Wu Xiong's gauntlets n sig, and Thatch's sword n sig. Congratulations, hard stuck golds hate you. Zariel, you fight with gauntlets, and you took a bread quiz on the internet. You know, there's a there are better ways to tell us you're the catcher in their eye. Rayman. <sighs> Low-hanging fruit here, I know, but you exist. <clears throat> Dusk, your golem army got captured. It took you four centuries to break out of prison, and you died in the Fangwild? These rogues practically write themselves. You're no better than Azoth. Fate, uh, Sailor Moon called and left you a message. Uh, let's see, your, uh, your application to join them was denied uh, again. Uh, something about not enough magical girl and too much cat lady. Thor, God of Lightning, and that's it. Nope, nothing else, just Lightning. Petra, you beat your former boss in laser death chess. Oh, that's cool, but why not with your fists? Who's the real nerd here? Arcturius Vector, your stats are writing checks your sigs can't cash. Volkov. You removed your own heart, and you still died! Also, simp. Onyx. So, technically speaking, in architectural terms, you're not a gargoyle, you're a grotesque. Not that I think you're ugly or anything. Oh, certainly not. No, no. Uh, it's just a good way to describe your apparent loyalty to the royal Batamian family. Jayun. You are the equivalent of that klutzy kid in elementary school who makes up stories about how he got his black eye. Mako. <laughs> I know you're probably sick of hearing this by now, but... Daddy Shark do do do... Ah, Daddy Thatch do 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 do... Daddy Thatch do 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 do... Daddy Thatch do 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 do... Daddy Thatch! Magyar. There are so many spooky, cool things about you and your backstory, but right now we just want to know when you're going to finally release that inevitably edgy Glory May Ameno acapella cover. Reno. You have four six shooters, which have a total of 24 bug bullets, not 26. Do you even math, bro? There you go. I hope you enjoyed, and if you thought any of those roasts sucked, then maybe, then, uh, I guess criticism is inevitable, but maybe instead of criticism, come up with better roasts. Thank you very much.